What's up guys? Welcome back to Healthy Recipe. We're going to be making a dessert recipe today. I realize that we don't have a lot of dessert recipes on this channel, but that's all about to change. I'm going to make some delicious brownies. They're going to be super healthy. We're going to be using oatmeal and some other healthy ingredients with sweet potato. They're going to be absolutely phenomenal and delicious. So let's get right to work. Please don't forget to hit the notification bell and the subscribe button so that way every time we upload a brand new healthy recipe you get notified okay so this is what we're using for ingredients we have about 350 grams of sweet potato and it's been cooked i just boiled it peeled it and boiled it i'm using uh some all-purpose uh spray this is canola spray for the pan so the brownies don't stick I have three quarters of a cup of instant oatmeal. For sweetener, I'm using uh, two and a half tablespoons of honey. This is organic, all natural honey. Two and a half uh, tablespoons of flaxseed flour. This is going to act as a binder. Two and a half tablespoons of cocoa powder. This is an organic cocoa powder. And one quarter cup of almond butter. And that's basically all the ingredients we're gonna use for these delicious brownies. Okay, so in a bowl with our sweet potato, we're gonna start adding the ingredients. Uh, first, we're gonna actually mash down the sweet potato a bit. I'm using a fork. I'm gonna break it down very nice. We want these brownies to be a little bit chunky. So that's pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and add the almond butter. The cocoa. Honey. Black seed flour. I'm gonna mix all these through. To kind of like a little bit of a paste. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and add the oatmeal in and mix that into our brownie. And this is gonna add some nice volume and, and fiber. Our, our uh, sweet potato also has fiber, so this is a nice fiber-loaded, healthy brownie. Okay, so now we're gonna take our baking pan and we're gonna spray it down a little bit just so they don't stick. And I'm gonna go ahead and put the brownie in. Spread it out, and I probably should have had a smaller pan for this. But we'll make do with what we have. I want these to be about a half an inch, so I'm not going to take the whole pan or they're going to be too thin. But you guys can definitely use a smaller pan so it'll come out thicker. All right, so now we're gonna put these in the oven at 350 degrees for about 20 minutes. All right, so here is our finished brownie. It's cooked right now, but it's very hot. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna let this rest to cool before we go ahead and cut into it. So we're gonna give it about 15 to 20 minutes to cool off. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and cut it into little squares. About this big, depending on what size you want them. And it feels like it's nice and gooey, it's perfect. I'm just gonna do six squares, six nice big squares. And that's pretty much set. I'm gonna go ahead and plate them now. There is my healthy chocolate brownies. 
I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I garnished it with some wildflowers and a little sprig of mint just for looks. Make it look a little bit prettier and more colorful. I hope you enjoyed it. Give us a thumbs up if you liked it. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you really soon on the next one. So here is the moment of truth. I'm going to go ahead and give these beautiful brownies a taste let me go ahead and break them to show you guys what they look like they are really nice they look rich it's still a little hot but as you guys know I am impatient so I'm gonna go ahead and taste them mmm wow really really good um, they're soft they have just the right amount of sweetness. We're definitely getting some sweetness from the sweet potato, not just from the honey. Um, really, really delicious. The oatmeal is really soft. It gives it a little bit of body. Mmm. They are amazing. Super easy to make. You can't go wrong with these.